Dude. Dude. It has been a, a millennia. So it's been a while since we have Congregated. consummated. Consummated. Isn't that a sex thing when you get married? Um, yes. Yeah. Okay. No yeah, pointers. That, but there's nodding. There's nodding going on. Yep. Mm -hmm. it, it, that hadn't happened um, We're not with me though. with me ever. But, um, <laughs> like, that's not the right word. You're just the incorrect word. <laughs> I have had sex with ladies. <laughs> Are you gonna be all right? <laughs> I'm like, oh, woo. Hey, hey, get it together. We've got somebody we're gonna talk to. Professionals. Who the fuck are we talking to, dude? Um, well, my mom backed out, so I got a hold of uh, this guy. Uh, <laughs> he's an author. He's a lecturer. He's a paranormal investigator, co-owner of Malvern Manor, and member of the G Crew. Any oh, ideas? Shit. This is Josh Hurd. Hey, Josh. What's up, guys? What's up, man? How are you? I'm good, man. How you doing? Good, bud. Thanks for uh, hopping on and chatting with us. Yeah, for thanks sure. for having me, guys. Thank you. I don't know how much you heard. Oh, Can you hear us in the beginning? I heard the consummate. I saw okay. it laughing. I did. Oh, I was. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Okay. Was I messed up a couple words, but we're no, good. No, you, you got it. Sometimes <laughs> you, you get things mixed, mixed up, you know. It's, just, that's, it's okay. It was funny, though. It's all right. We, we, I told you we'd be a little rusty. We do the best we can. It's a I small do. production. I feel that. <laughs> I feel that every day of my life. Yes. Yeah, we, we're uh, our podcast is to uh, podcast what horror movies are to Sid Haig's backlog straight to VHS stuff. So, yeah. yep. if that says anything, that's where we are. Totally get it. <laughs> yes. So the obvious place to start is Melver Manor. Sure. And it kind of fell into your lap in that weirdly magical way that locations just find their owners. Yeah. So for you, what would you say is the best and worst parts of owning a haunted location? Hmm. So the best part, like by far, easily hands down, is the fact that if there's a stupid experiment that I want to run, go do it you know what i'm saying like just do it yes. film it or don't or whatever yeah. or live stream yeah. it or don't who cares whatever mm -hmm. you have options right yes. you don't have to book the place set up the time pay the deposit you know what I mean? you're here right yeah like the there's a lot of i don't know like there's a lot of things as far as that i could talk about as far as being like the worst aspect of being involved mm-hmm it's just, I, I could sum it up by saying, like, people are nuts. How about that? People are crazy. Mm. Yeah. I'll say that. 98% mm -hmm. um, of the time, everything's great. <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> Everything's <laughs> perfect. Yeah. And then there's the other, like, there, oh, my gosh, man. Like, I, I could tell you, like, just certain things that certain groups do. And I know because, like, mm -hmm. oh, they've been here three, four, five, six, right. 12 times, whatever. Right. <laughs> It's like, I know, like, what I'm going to find in the morning. I know mm -hmm. this and that or whatever. It's crazy. What groups are likely to yeah. move things around or... Move things around, yeah, sure. And that's bad. that's one thing. I mean, I always say, like, you know, Malvern Manor is very interactive. Be as interactive with the building as you want. Mm -hmm. Like, if it's going mm -hmm. to elicit a response, that's why you're here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So be my guest. Please do it. Yeah. 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 My God. Like it's, mm -hmm. it's the weird things. Like, I mean, we have this little magnetic board that's in the back in the nursing home wing. Right. And mm -hmm. there are these little magnetic letters for an example. And there's one group, um, that will show up and they, people sometimes get fairly creative with the letters, you know, mm -hmm. uh, somewhat sophomoric, you know what I mean? But hey, oh, whatever. Yeah. Give you a chuckle. Sure. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. Right. Yep. <laughs> exactly. Go <Right>. on. <laughs> There's, there's one group in particular that will spell out like some of the most crude things that you can imagine. Things that I would never even repeat. And it's mm -hmm. and that's saying something. Would right? you type it? No, I wouldn't even type Damn it. Damn it. Like it's, it's more racial based in, in nature. Oh, no. Yuck. Uh, yuck. Okay. Poor taste. okay. Just poor taste. Yuck. And I always know that the, the second that I 
come to the building, they've already gone or whatever. But the second I'm there, that's the first place I go. Mm -hmm. That's what I find without fail. Every single When time. people do stuff like that, like with disrespectful shit, like not we're talking about moving stuff or like they left their trash. I'm talking like right. intentionally trying to offend someone. Right. Does do does activity perk up? It doesn't Is, necessarily that... seem to. Or at least it doesn't yeah. after the fact that I found it. I don't know exactly how they're investigating. I don't know their style of investigation or anything like that. Right. So I don't know if they're out there blasting this stuff out verbally or whatever like right i don't know i don't know it's weird they're not like signing it dirty mike and the boys or anything no. so i mean i guess no. it's... <laughs> right. so yeah i just i feel like to me it just you said the best part about it is that you can pretty much do what you want when you want but that could also be the worst part about it too sure like absolutely. for me you know what i mean yeah. it's like oh yeah i obviously have self-control issues if you look at my physique you would see that <laughs> <laughs> but no, <laughs> no but knowing like um that i can just go anytime yeah, yeah. like i feel like there for a while yeah definitely yeah mm -hmm. it's it's <clears throat> it's pretty neat yeah i mean it's i don't know it's it's fun in that aspect you know what i mean yeah, yeah. you feel like you start to connect with some of them almost like yeah. you you know just you you almost know what's going to make them tick. They know what makes you tick. Like mm -hmm. so and that's yeah. another thing that's kind of fun about it, funny ish or whatever, but it's like kind of annoying at the same time. It's they know exactly how to get a reaction out of me. Mm-hmm. So Yeah. I may scream like a girl, go smoke a few cigarettes and then mm -hmm. go about your day. You know what I mean? So right. yeah. That's how I start my day, so I get it. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I I'm know. just saying that made me think of how I accidentally scared you when I dropped my Darth Vader mask. It was goddamn terrifying. It was goddamn terrifying. <laughs> what would she do? So I forget exactly what the. So I was in the. We all were in the nursing home wing. Is that correct? Right. Then. At the other end of the hallway, I believe it was a mask. Is yeah, that correct? I had a mask. Yeah. Hit the floor. I dropped it. Yeah, but it. Jesus. Was My that your your like, actual like full ass Vader helmet? It's yes. not a full. It, it's a, it was it's the, just a mask. But right. Yeah. My soul left my body. But he was right on the other the side thing of is, this. Though it's like at that moment because down the hallway I was noticing this peekaboo crap going on in one of the rooms off to the side. So I had no idea. Oh, right. you were. You didn't tell me the. Oh, I thought would... I did. Oh, probably because I was hyperventilating. Ah, yeah. But that no. makes Because sense. fucking Darth Vader fell from the sky. It was, oh my God. It was yep. amazing. So you jump scare easily? Yeah, I do. Okay. And that's what's weird, right? It's like I the fact too. is, it's like, I never used to. I You're never right. used to. And now it's. I, even the other day, for an example, right? The other day I was in the office and I was filing away uh, different um, waivers that we have, right? Uh -huh. Getting rid of those, filing them away, doing whatever. But it sounded like, I mean, something, it was metallic and it had fallen or something. And I was like, it sounded like the wheelchair, right? Like you get to know kind of like oh, the noises, sure. the sounds and all that. Sure enough, like one of our wheelchairs that we have in the lobby had moved up four feet and tipped itself over. And I'm like, Fuck. shut up. That wheelchair is on its last leg anyway. It's not just going to yeah. roll right. on its own. Like, yeah. it's not going to. But mm -hmm. it's, it was weird for me, you know? There's an effort that has to be involved in moving that thing, right? Oh, I mean, I, like think effort. about the amount of, energy that would have to be involved in that right to physically manipulate an object like that that size to drag it four feet and then knock it over to drag I mean, it yeah so by something that i might something that we can't see mm -hmm. right i'm alive and might have to sit down after that if it's difficult you, you know <laughs> yeah another smoke but yeah I, I with the screen you have to Yep, exactly. I love <laughs> Stephen King books. Like I love oh yeah, and all that stuff. But it's like every time 
every time they've gone to do a movie about it, or at least this is what used to be the case. Like every time that they would do a movie, it was so weird and it just mm -hmm. overacting and you underacting. Have this and just, in your mind. Yeah. And it's and it's just, did you read awesome. Gerald's game? No, I did not. See, that's my favorite Stephen King story. And I read it. Oh, three ish somewhere in there. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite ones, hands down. And that, it's all inner dialogue in the book. Okay. Like, it's just her. That, see, that right there seems like right in my wheelhouse. Because uh, my favorite that Stephen King cool. was uh, the girl who loved Tom Gordon. Like, mm -hmm. little girl yep. who's lost in the woods. And it's that inner dialogue, that inner mm -hmm. monologue type mm -hmm. stuff. And it's so fascinating. It like, really what he is. does with the brain. The other thing that, why I love Stephen King so much is the fact that his world's crisscross. You know what I mean? He like, was the MCU before the MCU was the MCU. Yeah. It. It. Like, I remember the first time that I noticed anything like that was mm -hmm. when I was reading, and this is, this wasn't that long ago. You know what I mean? But it was, I was reading 112263. I'm Great a huge book. fan of time travel. I'm a huge fan of JFK, right? And all of that. Done. It's so, yep, exactly. Take my <laughs> fucking money. Take my money. Get and I remember, like, when he goes back to Derry. He goes into this town called Derry and he meets mm -hmm. Beverly and he starts calling her Bevy from the levee and all this stuff. And it was just yep. the kids playing, just the kids being kids. And you're like, oh, mm -hmm. shit, like you don't even know what's about to happen to y'all. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, oh, my God. It's just didn't crazy. they. Oh, no, that was on. Did you watch um, Castle Rock on Hulu? Not yet. I want to. Now, let, let me. I've watched the first two episodes of it, and that's all I've seen. That's okay, the first se the first season is good. Yeah, it's good, but mm -hmm. you're you're also kind of like the second season. Uh, fucking, uh, what's her face? Um, so Lizzie Kaplan, Lizzie Kaplan. plays um, Misery. What's her face? Oh, Kathy Bates' oh. character. Whoa! Before before full-on crazy mode Whoa. and you Whoa. you understand all of it why she <laughs> was the way she was but That's there's also a scene with her driving where you see like she's on the highway yeah and she's driving past the sign and it says dairy 200 something miles so oh, i had to God. i had to mention it because it was <laughs> That's it's like so easter cool. eggs before they had easter eggs That's it. Mm -hmm. awesome. <laughs> i'm gonna ask you a question now yeah of course <laughs> Because this is one I want to know about, and I'm skipping on some of our notes here because we talked for a while about oh, fun yeah, stuff. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. We go. My bad. My bad. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> um, so there's there's one place that I've never been to. Okay. But I've seen multiple people go, and it scares the shit out of me. It's the only place I can tell you I would never go. Ooh. It's a music place. Oh, Bobby Mackey's. Fuck yes. Yeah. God, can you tell me anything about that place? Just like experiences that are not like. Well, not like. Like it terrifies me. It really does. Truth be told, though, this is going to be my first time. This will be. I thought you've been be, already. I haven't been yet. Now. Every, oh, man. So oh, it's funny, God. though, because I'm I'm asking the same questions, right? Because mm -hmm. there's that stigma that's around. That yeah, location, like oh, it's Bobby Mackey's. Oh my God, you know, and, and the well and all of that. Exactly. The so well like, is the well, whole like, thing. What do oh. I expect? And, but now everything that like Nick has said, like Nick swears. Nick's been God. a handful of times, right? I was gonna say he's been and there. Every but... time that he goes back, he gets so much shit. You said you never go back, like all this <laughs> stuff. And so now it's become the joke for us. You it know, it's become a thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. With Mackey's, I mean, he literally mm -hmm. said he did say these words. He did say, I'm never coming right. back. Mm -hmm. That was 15 years ago at this point. Mm -hmm. right. so, you know what I mean? So he's like, yeah, well, things change, I guess. So I don't know. But yeah. I mean, then he did lock you down. He slept right over the well. He put his cot up yeah. right over that well and, and just... Like, hey, this might be a portal to hell. Like, we're just we're worried about it. Oh, well, fucking, I'll see. Camp. It's I'll fine. On top of it. Yeah, get some shit out. He's gone on his own numerous times now. Like, yeah. we sent him there for G Crew one time. <laughs> really? We sent him there uh -huh. um, to do 
specifically to interview Bobby, right? And so mm -hmm. the oh, three of us, yes. the other three of us were just sitting at our places, you know what right. I mean? And we were all yeah. pushing all that fun stuff. And then it was cool, though, because, I mean, Bobby played music. And, I mean, oh, it was really cool because I love listening to that guy sing. And I'm very excited because when we do this thing next week, Bobby's going to perform. And I'm like, that'll be cool. I actually get to see this like, like in person. I'm going to be, I'm very excited about that. I don't know, man. I don't know if it's the stigma or like me picking up, but it's, mm -hmm. I don't know that I'd want to drive past the place. Like, exactly. I'm at that level, yeah, man. Yep. Yeah. And so it's like, I've talked to groups that have been there and they haven't got anything. I've mm -hmm. talked to groups that have had some of the most profound experiences there at the same time. Now, I could say the exact same thing about this place. I could say yeah, the I mean, same thing about Melissa. I could say the same thing yeah. about the Queen Mary. Like, I don't know. Like, mm -hmm. just wherever you go, yeah, it, it's, it's never a guarantee, no matter what the story is behind the place. But there does right. seem to be something significant going on at that location, like for sure. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize this either, but there was that apartment um, when they did the ghost adventures episode, the guy that lived above the, that yeah, exorcism. Yeah. Yeah. He had the exorcism, right? Yeah. So they did yeah. the, the exorcism and all that stuff, but he's since passed away now, but they do have his apartment as is opened up as he left it really to the public. So wow. now people can investigate that section as well, which I, I wasn't aware of. Uh -huh. uh, so, yeah. It should be cool. Like, wow. we're not going to be able to investigate, obviously, like when we're there yeah. doing our thing or whatever. But in riding the, the time, bull, like, that'll be part of it. Probably. I am excited for those pictures. It'll well, since since you haven't been to Mackey's yet, no, not yet. I'm 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 wishing you nothing but the best for that one because that's oh, just thank you're you. you're a better man than I am for that. Like I I <laughs> you say, Hey, let's go to Eastern State, let's go, you yeah. know, anywhere else, I'd be like, Cool, yeah. You yeah. say Mackey's. It's no. weird, isn't it? Done. I know, man. Like I I know a lot of people that have that same thought process when it comes to even like Velisca. Yeah. Like, yeah, I will go anywhere mm -hmm. else, not Velisco, or I will go anywhere else, not the Sally House. Like, right. They've had such weird experiences or heard different things that just don't sit right with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That they just don't want to do it. But yeah. And Keith, you could be feeling the way you do about it because somebody knows that something would happen to you if you went there. So they're kind of like, dude, don't. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> it'll very. Yeah, that's possible yeah. too. It's. <laughs> That's a big question that I get still to this day. Are our mm -hmm. cemeteries haunted? I'm like, sure. I mean, I I won't be. Mm -hmm. if, if I yeah. if I'm given a choice of some right, I'm not gonna be hanging haunt, out with one of those. Yeah. No, I'm not hanging out with a bunch of stiffs. Fuck you guys. I'm going. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. When it goes no. somewhere rad, you've never been before. Yeah, exactly. I've never <laughs> been to the fucking Super Bowl. <laughs> Galaxy it, dude. anywhere. <laughs> Yeah, I have said that so many times. I'm like, look for like if you want like legitimate paranormal activity, 50 yard line Super Bowl Sunday. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, like look there. Go, go, go. go. Hey, before the in broadcast, you see all these fucking nerds out there with their geeko meters and shit mm -hmm. like, walking all over the place, <laughs> trying to I do an EVP there. session with 150 thousand screaming fans. Oh around. my god! What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm trying to talk to me. Everybody Leave me alone. Oh Everybody quiet, please. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? That was the wave. It's fine. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. It's fine. Everything will be okay. Hey, can you talk about time slips? <laughs> <laughs> that was the weirdest shit ever. Look, <laughs> look. Like a big decision. <laughs> but he goes, hey, man, can you talk about time slips? <laughs> I, just like, I'm, hey, bro, can we just <laughs> we and talk about talk time? About I'm I'm a bitch to time. Like it's it's yeah. an obsession of mine. And I thought I solved it one night, but it was because I smoked way too much, but I made her record it. I've been there. I was like, I've got time travel figured out. It has to do with us transcending into like the internet and we can go to different timestamp URLs and that's how we time travel. Oh hell! But you know, I was high, and that now doesn't fucking hold up now. So right. whatever. Yeah. But 
and it's only good for a few hours. <laughs> yeah. But when it happened, dude, yeah, I was you're like, you're like I'm a genius. This is it. Yeah. He's like sitting there. He's like, I'm some you kind of savant. I am a time <laughs> travel savant. That's what I am. I've got this shit. Pretty much. Down. I think. Yes, I think it's on it. the he's show. Like, I have to say it now. He's like, I'm he because I was like, dude, I'll record it because. You're gonna, we're gonna, we're both gonna forget this. So I'm like, yeah. just keep repeating it in your head. And I'm like running upstairs. I was in the bathtub her. and I called her and was like, yo, I have it figured out. <laughs> I've got this figured out. Now I'm gonna need you to record it before I accidentally electrocute. That was her idea, luckily. But <laughs> she's like, hang on, I gotta go get my recorder. I was just like, oh, I'll man. never remember this. I'll never <laughs> be able to repeat this back to you. No, but I mean, that like, being my, said, time is interesting, <laughs> though, right? Like, I mean, Fascinating. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I, I will say this also, like just given now, like, and I don't know if you guys have looked at any of this stuff from the from the new James Webb telescope. Yep. Oh, my God. Four billion years in the past, right? Like four billion years into the past that we're able to see. Oh, like, and it's, it's amazing to me it. because we're. Our also, real quick, man, fuck you, battle. because I quit thinking about that for a week. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. but let's go. <laughs> let's do this, let's Lindsay. This. He may be coming <sighs> later again with another. <laughs> it's fine. No, 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 no. I'm ready for this. Is. That's fine. Um, I'm ready. <laughs> I'll be prepared. I <laughs> would ready to record all the audio on this. Yeah. It's already um, happening for the show. We're good. You know, it's it's interesting though, right? Because I mean. If we're able to see mm -hmm. that far back, right? Now, if we were to then magically transplant ourselves there, okay? Where these points of light are coming from. If we're able to then mirror image that, flip that. So we're now there and we can observe elsewhere. Now, if you wormhole. Yes. That's a yeah. fucking wormhole. Right, because then, then hypothetically speaking, right, you would be if you were correctly positioned, and you yourself had a powerful enough telescope pointing the opposite direction. The sky's the limit. You could literally watch the pyramids being constructed. You could watch concave, convex. Yes, dude, that's that's it right there. Quite literally, the definition of like, like that wormhole. A wormhole. That's, yeah. That's it. That's it. two places in time coexisting two, in the same physical spot. Correct. Yeah. Two places coexisting simultaneously from two different points in time. Mm -hmm. So now, like it's it's not that far fetched of an idea, right? Like, we're observing this right now. We're right. able to look that direction. So now, we just have to be able to look the other direction, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever. Like, it's not that far fetched. Now. Will we ever get there? Probably not in our lifetime. Right. I don't know, man. Technologically speaking, I don't know. All you need is a more powerful telescope to see like more details it. of what we're looking at. So we, like, have, we, to, we have to get even stronger. Find yeah. Earth four billion years ago and answer the question of evolution. Bingo. Jesus, yes. Bingo. And that's just it. Think of that now. I mean, think of what that does now. I mean... You start talking evolution, you start talking things like that, and now you, of course, you're going to get the church spirituality, yeah. right? <laughs> Everything, exactly. Big Bang versus Adam and Eve, and all that. And That's it. What so if everything cool. paranormal we experience is just a wormhole? Bingo. Right? So that's it. So what if? Then, <gasps> like, think about things. this because now the scientists that we all know, love, and trust for information. Mm -hmm. are, and they have quite literally said this, that we do believe and can prove the existence of other dimensions. 13 to be exact. I've string theory. I've read about that. Now you're getting into string theory for sure, right? Oh, Which, I my mean, God. Shit, we could talk for months, right? But mm -hmm. like you think about that. Or well, seconds. Well, <laughs> right, oh, my exactly. God. <laughs> we could talk about that oh, for months. That's the whole thing. Depending on where you're at now, but it is quite feasible to understand or to think that, sure, there's there's another podcast right now, another strange dead fellows podcast going on right now, same cast, mm -hmm. everything, right? Maybe talking about something else, yeah, but at the exact same time, yeah, because I didn't say seconds, 
Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. I don't Some know. Little twist. But what if that's ghosts? What if that is ghosts? Mm -hmm. Like, what if that helps to, I don't know, to aid us in this, right? I mean. Right. If it's and that's how we like, become eternal? So that's it, right? Ooh, but are we sentient? We are. See, and that's what I, I, I don't know. I struggle with that. If we're sentient. Because we're not aware of that consciousness of ourself. Bingo. How can we? We can't. We can't. It's so bizarre. Yeah. Like, we can right. access it, but we don't yeah. exist there. Exactly. <laughs> but we do, but we don't. Yeah. <laughs> we might, but Maybe. who knows? It's, oh kind of, it's kind of like Paradoxes. a clone, if you think about it. I mean, Paradoxes. if, if you exactly. cloned yourself. So you, you have to ask yourself, like, what's happening to your other self? Mm -hmm. You know, on these other timelines or whatever. And then, of course, you get the people that say oh no this you know the oh gosh help me out here guys the uh mandela effect oh okay yes yep. things like that where you know berenstein and berenstain have been spelled right differently but never differently and things like that and like uh, it's, oh yeah. the it's fucking been, bermuda triangle Lindsay. what we yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i'm telling you all of that, that stuff. just fucked with our heads big time <laughs> <laughs> like there's there's so much to get into but i mean so we our problem and this is just the biggest problem that we have is oh you ask any joe schmo anybody is time travel possible immediately they're going to most likely jump towards the negative because mm -hmm. we yeah. observe time we calculate time which yeah. is a very man-made thing we've been as, trained to as linear it's all yeah. linear right it's yep. beginning middle end it's ba, 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 ba. it's this year this year this Days, year this week, year this day this day yeah there's spots on a map. That's what time is. That's it. Mm -hmm. that's and we ha problem. we can travel to places. But that's the problem. Is time isn't yes like that. Time isn't even a fucking thing. If you really want to be no. honest, it's mm -hmm. not. It's no. how we measure a day or a, a month mm -hmm. or a year or what have you. Sure, that right. aids us in our calendar. Tells us when the fuck to get up for work, right? Mm -hmm. But no, time is and not. Scream really and have my cigarettes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But no, yeah, the, yeah, the whole linear side of it, that's what I was telling her. I was like, time yeah. travel isn't about speeding up or slowing down. It's, it's there's picture a point on a map. Like, how do we get right. to this point on the map? Well, it's kind like, of it's not, literally like, I don't know if you guys ever watched like Stranger Things. Oh, right? yeah. Like that. Yeah. It's brilliant. It's talking about <laughs> excellent cast of characters, right? Mm -hmm. but, I remember, like, I think it was like in season one where they're quite literally they hold up like a piece of paper and they're like, no, it's like that. Yes. Like it's, you know yes. what I mean? It's literally the upside down, right? It's yeah. that mm -hmm. idea, which is not that far fetched because I mean, the whole thing of Stranger Things, I mean, originally it was, it's all based on the Montauk project. Check it out. Shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to speaking of it at night? There you go. <laughs> With yeah. didn't, oh my god! Have you watched the current season? I've watched I'm it all it currently. Right I've watched it all. Okay, up to what is available? Yes. Okay, good. I'm not spoiling anything if you haven't seen it all, Lens. It's just okay. they. This is the first time they bring up time yes. in the series in this season because mm. you find out the upside down is the exact moment when Will disappeared. It's stuck. Yep. Created a different time. <laughs> it's it's very bizarre. It's very bizarre. Wow. But like, I love so what well they well written, into, though. so well cast, so well oh, yeah. everything. Just everything about it is just the characters are just lovable. You know what I mean? Yes, like, and the places that they're willing to go with that show is yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so needed. So yep. needed. Definitely. So yeah. It's Anytime stuff. Eddie and Dustin are together in this season, I feel like <laughs> that best, is right? well, it's me. But it's like in two people. Uh -huh. I, it's I, amazing. I have heard so many people say, like, if you could just relate with one of those characters, who would it be? It's Eddie <laughs> immediately. Because oh, yeah. to so many different people in our world today. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, that's I actually posted that like on my social media when it came out. I was like the same people that thought I was a weirdo 20 years ago are fucking love with this character. And it makes no <laughs> sense to me, but I'll take it. Yep. 
-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Some sort of progress. (laughs) (laughs) It's step in the right direction, right? Yeah, Yeah, it is. It is. Absolutely. Oh my God. But yeah, that, that, this season's been amazing. The only thing I've heard a rumor about what the next season's going to be. And if they, they end up doing this, it's going to, it's going to screw it up. Is it? it? That they're saying that there's a potential that it's all been a D and D game that they've played. No. I had sim- now look, I had a similar thought because of the fact that while I was watching it, I did notice consistencies in that. Mm-hmm. Like these are D and D characters. You know what I mean? All that of them. Yep. All of them. Yeah. So I mean they even spelled out I forget even the introduction of um Max, right? Right. Like the introduction of her, they're like, no, we don't need anybody else in our group. This is this person. He does this. This is this person. This right. is his job. This is his job. Mm-hmm. job. Yeah. He's our mage. He's this. He's that. Yeah. Like, oh, fuck. I'm like, okay. I'm like, they're playing D&D. They're just playing mm-hmm. D&D. I'm like, or Final Fantasy or something of the like. One you know of those. I mean? But like, I mean, they're together. definitely, yeah. And that's. So, yeah. I, I mean, it would be a cool concept, but. I hope they don't. Yeah. I hope. I they really don't. hope they don't. Like, I yeah, really I hope, hope that it's not just a, a dream sequence of sorts. Right. Right? Like, I hope that's not it. Don't it's pull a don't pull a who who shot Jr. on me. Like, I don't right. need that shit. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh fuck! The world would explode. That can mm-hmm. handle that. Yeah. Um, but that's just it. Is like if <clears throat> I don't think they could. Like, I don't think they could go that route I for think a few safe. different reasons. Because then you'd have to bring it back. So unless they've already shot that scene. Oh, that's true. These kids look like they're pushing yeah. fucking 30 now. You know what I'm saying? They really do. <laughs> they really now. do. They really kind of like grew. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like a lot. So Girl, yeah. Like it's hurt. Hello. So unless they already filmed that scene and they just have a wicked ass NDA. <laughs> like, <you know? laughs> look, guys, we're going to fucking drag this out for the next right. five, six years. Something like that. Well, Don't say I'm <laughs> we'll just need to keep you. Mm. Right. So, Josh, you're a documentary filmmaker. Yes. What is it that you love so much about creating documentaries, and what's been your favorite project to work on so far? Oh, my gosh. Um, Well, (laughs) I guess my favorite part is the documentary aspect of everything. It's just kind of like we never really have an agenda. It's like we know what we're going to try to do but at the same time we also understand that if we write anything down like just expect the exact opposite to to happen like you know you're telling the story but you have no idea what it is yet exactly it's like i know how i want to start the film i know how i'd like to end the film and most of the time it's going to be some open-ended thing like your crossword where you put it together and um so i guess like my favorite I guess my favorite thing to do so far that we've done has been like, so we did a brush with evil two. Right. And the thing with the brush with evil two is different is it was my movie. I was filming the movie. Right. Mm -hmm. But Mm -hmm. at the same time, I wasn't in control of the movie that my wife was in control of the movie. So Oh. My wife had literally come up with this brainchild, this series of experiments. Now, my wife is also a former combat vet who dealt specifically in combat stress, right? So wow. she really knows, like, I mean, she could get into your brain and pull things out, right? Right. right. Yeah. So the thing is then, like, she had this idea for this experiment. And what was interesting is, like, oh, she had a team of ladies and then she had a team of guys, right? Mm-hmm. And what happened was, okay, for, for an hour, the ladies are going to go upstairs and they're going to investigate Malvern Manor. Okay, cool. And then the guys are going to go and investigate Malvern Manor for an hour. Okay, cool. And in my brain, I'm like, what are you doing? What is she doing? Like, I don't know what to Point, do. Yeah. With Where is she going right. with it? Yeah. Right. <clears throat> so what was interesting then is we're all literally in this room that I'm in now and we're um, sitting here. We kind of made this kind of like home base, uh, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But what was interesting then is her and the director of photography, Rick, um, they were pulling us out one at a time. And I was 
Okay, what's going on? So uh -huh. they took us all the way down to the Shadow Man hallway where they had this interview area set up. <sighs> and then they were basically, they were asking us just a general battery of questions, right? Mm -hmm. You wouldn't really think twice about answering these questions. As an investigator, what do you use most as far as your senses go, right? Mm -hmm. Sense of sight, sense of sound. What, what is it? Like, what do you use the most? Whatever mm -hmm. your answer was, they were then going to take away from you in a sensory deprivation isolation experiment. Ooh. Now the shit got interesting. Yes, 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 yes. Me, yes. you know, kind of being the dipshit that I am, I'm just like, oh, yeah, I use everything. You know what I mean? So imagine me tied Ooh. to a chair, blindfolded with earplugs shoved in my fucking, you know what I mean? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It was the most terrified I've ever been uh -huh. because our camera guy was quite literally instructed. I mean, you're just a fly on the wall. You do not yeah. react. You don't aid in this in any way, shape or form. You're simply observing and, and documenting. That's it. Right, because otherwise they contaminate what she's Exactly, on. yes. And so the whole time that I'm sitting up there, like, I'm hearing things, I'm feeling things, and I'm like, is that him? Like, is that him moving around or whatever? Like, oh, yeah. Oh, it was weird. What was bizarre to me <clears throat> was the fact that I was hearing things. Now, as I say I'm hearing things, I'm not hearing shit. Because right. I have these earplugs shoved down into my ear canals. I'm not hearing mm -hmm. anything. I'm mm -hmm. perceiving sound. That's what I'm doing. So as I'm perceiving sound, we're also receiving EVPs on the actual camera audio. Oh. Bizarre. So Absolutely. you were picking up on it, on the auditory side of it. Exactly. And not knowing what i'm hearing not knowing what i'm experiencing it. so it's oh kind of like God. if you close your eyes and you swear you see something yes taking yeah. shape that's it that's mm. it so it, it's terrifying like when you think about that and how vulnerable you really are you know what i mean it's mm -hmm. like that's hard oh my god so i mean that has been like the most fun now I will also say this. I had a hell of a good time doing 1903. Um, yes. We had to go out into the into the field and, and camp looking for this old cryptid creature or whatever, you know. And It's so good. Yeah. I've it's, never it's actually so fun. felt something so strongly that other people were experiencing before while watching something. I appreciate you saying that. Like, it, it's weird. Like, there was weird things mm -hmm. that were happening now again though kind of getting back to the fact that like my wife knows how to mess with people's heads mm -hmm. like she's already said that she would love to be a part of part two of 1903 where oh. we would take that team back but right. she's going to add another element to everything that's just going to head fuck it's everybody psychological yeah Big time oh like, that's there's gonna a, be fascinating there, there's a 75 to 83 percent chance that my friends are not going to speak to me ever again <laughs> but we'll see what happens i know the 1903 was in like iowa wasn't it or somewhere out yeah, midwest with, uh van meter okay. iowa yeah talking about okay. like uh, the van meter visitor or the van meter monster yeah. uh, depending on who you talk to but yeah mm -hmm. like this winged bat like flying humanoid thing that like the entire town witnessed and even took shots at back in late uh, September and early October of 1903. But yeah, yeah, just amazing stuff. Like if the Mothman listened to ACDC and lived in a trailer. <laughs> exactly. That's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like if the Mothman enjoyed bush light, that would be... <laughs> Yes. Oh my gosh. The Mothman drank Bush Light. Now yep. you have the fan meter. Mark. Oh man. <laughs> Johnny's going to be like, what the fuck? He's going to be like, yes, absolutely. Yep. <laughs> absolutely. Yep. Amazing. If he gets his um, coffee at the gas station. <laughs> yes. That's a real cappuccino. Okay, That's buddy. Oh. Right there. Good Lord. Boy, I tell you what. Oh, yeah, man. That one. <laughs> Yeah. That was awesome. I, I, I love 1903. It was so oh, thank good. You. Thank you. Should we run to rapid fire? Are you ready for this? Oh, let's do it. Yeah, we hey, can do the rapid fire. Hey, you're uh, 
you're leading it, Linz. So I'll just um, let me get my. Just so I'm clear on the rules here. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is more like word association. Is that correct? No. What it's going to be like if you and I are talking. Okay. And do you ever? Are you into sports at all? Uh, sometimes, yeah. I love baseball. Have you ever seen? Baseball. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you know how like I think it's like hot take or next take or something on ESPN. They'll say like. Evander Holyfield, and then a clock will start for 90 seconds, and they have a conversation about Evander Holyfield oh, in the cool. 90 yeah. second. It's that type of thing. Okay. So it's going to be topic, topic, talk about the topic for 30 seconds, whatever okay. you want to talk about. Like that whatever type of it thing. is that pops in your head first, just fly with it. I love it. I will tell you this. There's... <laughs> I'm, I'm going to fuck with you. Hang on. That's a different wow. one. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. That's that a different, different one. That was had. really good. That was good. <laughs> we had that okay. again and he absolutely loved it. It was amazing. My god, that's funny. It was so the, funny. I'll tell you, I will tell you that the preparation for it wasn't the best and I took that bullet yeah. because I came up with it. <laughs> There's a lot of Google searches I don't want in my history. There's a lot Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. I just I wanted to make sure Lindsay knew in case something happened to me, and someone was like, "What the fuck kind of secrets was he keeping?" Right. So, so yeah. now you got like the <laughs> FBI knocking on your He's door. He's like, just so you know. know, this is what I'm doing, and if anyone asks, you're my. <laughs> you need to. <laughs> like, oh I fuck. Got okay. I got. Here's a real one. Here's a real one. <laughs> Live music, performing, or watching. Ooh. Okay, so for me, live music is the absolute way to go. Like, I love music anyway. Don't get me wrong. And I love right. music on road trips and things like that. But, man, like being there, seeing a band live and performing and seeing the emotion they put into the songs that you already love. Yes. Anyway, like, that's that's where it's all at. You know, mm. Would you rather perform or watch? I would rather perform any day of the week. For sure. No. As opposed um, to watching. One of my favorite memories, honestly, like I love the band Blue October. Love them. Mm -hmm. When I worked for this college radio station briefly, we did their thing <clears throat> at this place called the Ranch Bowl. Literally watched this man break down crying on stage. And I'm like, that's wow. how much of his soul, his own right? self, he's put yeah. into that music. I, I was a fan ever since. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Look, I let that go. I let that go longer because I wanted to yeah, hear that story. I wanted to hear him finish it too. Yeah, I was like, "Oh my God, this is Ghostbusters!" Oh my God. Okay, look, an absolute piece of Americana. I cannot say enough good things about it. I even, and I'm gonna say this on the record for anybody to hear. Say, brother. Oh my God, I love that. Yep. Like, I am going to say this on the record for literally everybody and their dog to hear. Yes. I didn't mind. In fact, I actually enjoyed the female Ghostbusters. There I, said, I told Lindsay the same thing. Yeah, you there did. I said, I, you did. I'm you. Like, my kids absolutely love that movie. They love they it. They did a great. <laughs> this is good. This is good. G Crew. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. G Crew. <sighs> G Crew is Nick Groff, Johnny Hauser, Chad Lindbergh, and myself. And it's us just us four assholes sitting around talking about literally anything. I mean, we amazing. interview uh, musicians, actors, actresses, Olympic gold medalists, for God's sake. I mean, literally anybody with an interesting You've story. You've had a gold medalist? We've had yeah. a gold medalist on the yeah. show, absolutely. Yeah. And it's like, I love talking to just interesting people. No right. matter. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah. That. So yeah, no yeah. agenda, no format. Just have the conversation. Sometimes exactly. prank calls. It's, sometimes we prank calls. Also other very fun. Celebrity. <laughs> seen creepy doll. Oh god. Okay, so I kissed a creepy doll one time, and it was for a really good cause. So we were doing a fundraising event 
uh, for our good pal Jennifer. Everyone has their price. <laughs> yes, exactly. And so people were like, oh, I was auctioning off this doll, and it was a creepy-looking doll. And everybody's like, oh, you should kiss the doll. I'm like, no, you're out of your mind. And then they're like, I'm going to put in 20 extra dollars. And I'm like, oh. I'm like, okay. And literally, we ended up raising an extra like $80 just for me to give this little doll a smooch. And so I'm like, yeah. hell yes, I'm going to kiss it. Yeah. Like, oh. I don't <laughs> it was we great. All thought, yeah, we're throwing them. I absolutely love that. But yeah, I got I to gotta jump on with this one because the Ghostbusters thing. Yeah, hundred mm. percent agree. I'm a Ghostbusters purist, like yes. to yes. the core. And I thought I went to see it just because, you know, it's yeah, like I, I, I have to. Mm-hmm. I owe it to my. I have to go. Gotta go. And we did twenty some odd years, right? And we waited, yeah. and waited. and I'd heard everyone complain, and then of course everyone's biggest thing was like they turned it into a gender thing when it had nothing to do with that. My issue was it was that don't call it this. Yeah. Because it's not this. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yep. But it was absolutely amazing. I liked it too. I did. And my kids loved it. I mean, still to this day, they will watch mm-hmm. it. My son, even, I do too. Three years old, he watched it like seriously last week alone, I think probably three times last week. He it's watched. amazing. He loves that. And then he likes and the, thing, the new one too, you know? Oh, the amazing. dude, Hopefully Afterlife. Oh my God. I went, so I went opening day and it was. Yeah. There was one showing before me that was getting out, and I oh, told Lindsay yeah. this. There was a guy walking out in like with his whole family dressed up, and I was, I was like, "Dude, I've look, I've, I'm a purist. I've loved these movies. Just tell me." And he he stopped me. He goes, "When were you born?" I was like, "1981." He goes, "This movie was made for us." I cried twice. Yes, like, he said Done. this was made for us, and I was like, "Yes." That's yes. it, man. So literally, yep. we went and saw it. And I remember, I mean, the, the scene at the end, towards yep. the end there, you know what I mean? Oh. Very hard. Uh. Yep. <laughs> and uh, I remember my wife looking at me. She's waiting. She's waiting mm-hmm. for, the, for the waterworks, you know what I mean? And I kept my shit together, kind of. <laughs> I did not. I'm telling you. That was so it. But I'm a crier, so, so. good. Yeah. It was so good, in fact, that I even, like, on Audible, I went and got... Um, his daughter, uh, um, Harold Ramis's daughter, wrote a book. Yeah. Uh-huh. Man, so good. Really? So good. Oh, my God. And it's just like kind of behind the scenes stuff. You know what I mean? With yeah. oh, all the films great. that he did, yeah. like with stripes and all that fun stuff. Yeah. Well, that, years. You've, got, you've got Harold Ramis showing it. Like, we did a whole episode on on this because i I like i jumped deep into waiting for the third one to happen how they were going to write it who was writing it yeah and they took they took a very similar idea from the original idea that Ackroyd had yeah yeah but flipped bill murray's character with egon yep yeah and different circumstances, but Oscar was supposed to end up being actually Bill Murray's kid and Correct. was going to be the kid. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. So they took that idea and the fact that they went and did it more than anything to honor Harold. Oh man. When yeah, he showed yeah. up at the it end, the seeing right the three of those guys and knowing why they were there after it, what, 30 it, years of like, yeah. we're not doing it. We're not doing it. Oh yeah. I was done. I was done. Yeah. And I know like, I remember like reading interviews and things like that um, with Bill Murray specifically when they were like, oh, yeah, we're going to do another movie. Oh, are we going to do it? Well, we don't know. Yeah, we're working on the script. Oh, we'll do this. Yeah. And they were kept, kept asking him. They're like, hey, Ghostbusters 3. And he would always be like, oh, welcome to my nightmare. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. it's like, yeah. no, he's not into it anymore. I get it. You right. played the part. You've done it. You've done yeah. the character. And then it's like, but Jesus, man, like the fans, like there is such yeah. a huge fan base for all of this and he he then said like there was rumors going around that he, he would agree to do it if they killed him off in the first 10 minutes and <sighs> when they did the um I'm, I'm trying to remember uh answering the call when they did that film mm-hmm. and 
he didn't obviously play Venkman. He played this Martin Heiss or whatever the the skeptic guy. And yeah, killed him yeah. <laughs> like that. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, yeah. well, maybe that was it. Then <laughs> maybe this is what we get. Yeah. Like, he's just you know. Well, like the fun. post credits in that one too made me kind of go, okay. Because mm-hmm. what is it? Leslie yeah. Jordan's like, guys, who's Gozer? Yes. Oh my god. Because like, they're listening, and I was just like, oh, they're like, get like, yeah, a I'm like, oh. No. Right? <laughs> I actually bought uh, a copy. They released a promotional thing, and I've got a copy of Tobin's Spirit Guide. I do as like, well. Do yeah. you? The is it yeah. like the burgundy looking one? Yes. Yeah, oh. dude. Yes. Yeah. That's awesome. And I fucking I love it. I love it. I love it. But like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Josh. Oh my god! And I didn't even. I wore freaking. Oh, cool! I, got my I didn't even on. notice that. That's awesome. And let's see. Welcome to Malvern. Oh, that is so cool. In the book. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Yes. That's awesome. So I'll those are out. some things that people can get. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I got stuff too. I, like, Look, <laughs> I got things. I got an iced coffee right here. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <Really. laughs> so Joshua. Yes. Where could our lovely fans find you online? Yeah, honestly, um, the the best is joshherd.net. And I mean, that's literally everything right there. The one-stop shop, the films, the books, Malvern Manor, like everything. G Crew is on there as well. So, yeah. Awesome. All that fun stuff, of course. Cool. Yeah. And I have joshherd.net having me on tonight. I love that. Thank you. Dude, thank oh, you man. so much. Thank it's you been so our pleasure for sure. Yeah. yeah. Fun. We were so excited. I have to be honest. When when we walked through that door, that time door, with yeah, I love you now. Like I, I legit, I love you. There's love for you. Oh my god, so, that's amazing. So, I'll just leave it at that. Not make it any more awkward. I've talked about a prostate exam and loving you in the past five minutes. True. You're welcome. True. You're yeah. welcome. Magic. This is what happens. I like it. I like it. This is what happens. I, 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 I think there might be some extras online after this. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. I mean, like, I still have what? a whole blooper thing I need to do. Oh, Lord. I had Cinemax. I'm just, oh, yeah. that's all I'm saying. I yeah. used to have it. Yeah. Absolutely. One thing I will say is kids don't have the same blessing we did with the wavy lines on the channels because you could still make out some stuff. You could. You definitely could. That's like, true. that was my number one tool when I was in high school. I'm just going to let y'all know. I was in the... Channel 98. Room. Channel 98 really? came on at, like, 1130. So we, and my we door was have, locked. What did we have? We had Showtime. Mm-hmm. That's what we had was Showtime. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. 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 Anytime you watch any of those, like, if it says AM on the clock with the sun isn't out yet, you're going to get a surprise. You're getting a treat. <laughs> yep. That's exactly it's, true. It's treat time. Yes. Yes. It is. That's why I have so many single socks. Oh, God. 